Okay, this should cover uh, scissor pivots for things like flaps. Um, so anyways, the wing, the uh, pivot set in its center, and the pivot for the flap is set uh, in the center of the semicircle here. So when rotated, um, when rotated, it pivots from that portion. All right, so what you want to do is use some uh, dummy objects. They don't they don't cost any polys, um, and you name them a, a CS object, and then you can um, uh, set things to those in, in real flight so that they work as if they were real objects. So, um, and they don't render. So what you do is to go to the Create tab here, and you go to the Helpers, and you just want a dummy object. You can use a, a point or whatever, it really doesn't matter, but you just use a dummy. Um, and this is going to be the anchor, so I'm going to make it fairly big. And that, that's the dummy pivot there, and I will uh, I want to mirror it. I want to click align it to, um, to the, the wing center. So I'm going to make, make sure that uh, this pivot's correct, which it is. It's really good. Okay. You can probably size it down a little bit, I guess. I'm going to do that anyways. Um, hold shift and move a new copy of this standard deck object up. And, okay. and then we'll shrink this down just for reference reasons. Okay, so now what I want to do is move this box to be roughly in the center between here and the center of the wing there. So I'm just going to move it in right to that location, and then there. All right, so now we have, we have our objects. Um, you want to be able to rotate this in real flight. So this here would be uh, something like total CS underscore. underscore flap in this case. Um, then all that's left to do is to parent. So what we'll do is use the linker tool. I'm sure everyone knows how to do that. Link the helper to the wing. Link the hinge to the anchor. And then we'll link the hinge to the flap. So now if I rotate things locally, which is in the local pivots here, you can see So I want to pick the anchor, and you'll see that. <gasps> okay, okay. Let's see if it's linking down correctly. There we go. Now everything's rotating together. So when I rotate this anchor, I'm rotating the, the hinge down, which in turn rotates the flap down. So now all we do is just figure out how much rotation is needed. So. If I rotate this down, say, 20 degrees, I can come up here and rotate this object back, say, 40 degrees, and then you can actually hinge the, uh, the flap itself. Uh, and I got these set to, you know, 0.5 degrees, so that I'm, I'm moving it, you know, in, in solid increments. You could go to snaps and you can set this to any degree that you need or this to any degree that you need so you, you can just test it in here to see if you like it if that's the final look that you like you can see that you didn't take it didn't take any special arrangement of the helpers so I'll just 
so that's how the setup would be in here. Um, So, if I load up the A10, which has this backup flap, let's get in here and look. Let's see that if I rotate the flaps, they come out and they rotate down. Okay, so we can see what's going on here in the editor. want to go to um, I haven't been in here in a long time so we want to go to uh, what main okay there's the inner flaps so we'll look at the inner flaps and see what's going on inner flap hinge flap hinge um, so you can see the component This is this is actually the helper um, object because it's set up and it's set to rotate 22 degrees. And then the other the uh, actual hinge helper is set to rotate 16 degrees, and the actual flap itself is at 24 degrees. Actually, that's a negative 16 degrees on the on this helper. And really, you can just play with these numbers in real flight until you really like the way that it looks. I mean, if I change the, the anchor's pivot, I'm going to get a lot more throw. And then change the hinge, it brings it out much flatter. And then I can, and, and in that way, the, the flaps would end up extending way far out. So, like, for example, say I went out to, went out to 40 degrees. So now you can see we've rotated the inner flap way, way down. And if we increase this up to, say, 30 degrees, now they're in line and they're out further than the other flap. And then you can actually go to the actual flap itself. And I'm going to change it to, say, 35 degrees. So now we got a much more extreme flap. And then that's how it's done.